We'll get into a B lean here from Na'Vi. We haven't seen this before in their pistol rounds. They normally focus towards long, as we talked about so many times before. One of the strongest B bombsite anchors, though. Magisk waits at the platform. He's got three players with the bomb on their back, ready and waiting as he holds out USP. They are going to challenge him and do quite a lot of damage there. He's ready and willing to take these fights. Suppressing bullets are missed. Simple's gone down. Molotov is not forcing his fight immediately. Finally, it was Perfecto and Flamey to enter the site. A chance presenting itself. Perfecto. Second frag. And now comes the third. Just onto Zipex. One ver two. Great stuff there from Na'Vi. They lost the first couple of frags, but they've now got themselves a two-on-one -on -one advantage, though. Up against one of the world's best clutches is Zipex. No kits, but 100 HP and armor available to him. You can see the kit there available in front of the door. Needs to find his first kill quickly, makes a sound cue. And at this point, crossfire set up. Na'Vi should have the advantage here. Reaction shot, not quite gonna hit. Boomich, he's trying to get the info. Keep Flamey tucked in the corner. He's the one that's low. Now the smoke is deployed and a bullet to the dome. He's got one HP to work with. That should be enough, but perhaps not. Catches one. It has to be precise. One oh. tap. So close. The ear of Boomich bleeding, but it's the round for Na'Vi. Device. Now he's starting to get a tingle. He knows it's about time for him to strike. Gets the first back, was turned of Boomich, and now tucked in on elevator, but it's not looking particularly uplifting. Na'Vi dwindling at 15 seconds, the bomb will go down. That's Flamey, making sure that happens, but in the meantime, the leader of Na'Vi is now gone. Three players remaining for this defense. Yeah, Estrella staying very calm in this situation. They've got a five on three lead here up against these Galils, but Simple is alive with the AWP. Now we know what he can do with disadvantages with this sort of weapon. Nice first kill coming in from Flamey, but it's a trade. Flay from Long will strike and Simple now has him painted into a corner. Oh, wow, what a shot without his. The quick scope delivers, but the Galil is not gonna be quite enough. Astralis do post their first round here. This is the, it's relatively telegraphed. They throw the bait smoke, then they do their execute. It's the same as before. Let's see if the smoke lands, this time towards CT. And Device hasn't hit the shot he did before. Dupree instead draws blood. Perfecto's MAC-10 is connected on the loose variable of Zipex. They're falling back. And they're pushing through V already. Magisk is in tons. Dupree's by the doors. He has to hit a no-scope. The nade has done something, but simple through the doors. An electronic caught unawares. Knife out. Two versus three with 15 seconds left. They're charging Ooh. in towards B. Magisk, he's going to get there in time, I think. No, already Flamey's found cover. And Simple, he could find this shot. It's so quick. Na'Vi have this round in the bag. It's a long and rather tumultuous road for Glaive to get towards those doors. He's got to get past Simple's crosshair, and he doesn't miss. The T-Smokes will be pluming, and all of Na'Vi, they do just travel as a pack. Yeah, I love it. When you've got this much star potential and aim stars available to you, why not? Let's get stuck in, trade out. And it's going to be device down. Now, AWP, the M4 in hand, a very difficult weapon to deal with this sort of scenario. Three players in front of him. Play will go down. Device will pull one back. He needs at least one more kill. And it's the big man waiting for him with the AWP. Device, he'll sit in the corner, allow them to get the bomb site here, hoping there's an overcommitment from one player. Yeah, and Zipex is there, hoping that they lean into his long angle. He can't get the trade. He's missing his shots. And Electronic's double could seal the round. That's a triple from Electronic, but Magisk does give us an ode to Kobe and 2v2. Simple does easily find the bottom of Magisk and Dupree's just going to have to scarper, preserve the AWP. And now Simple can look towards CT spawn. Perfecto is a great anchor towards these B tunnels and he will be taken down. Finally, Estrella showing a bit of aggression here, some confidence. Oh no, there's no way oh, they're ready for that. Both. Hit both of them. Magisk, he's not really sure what's going on. His ears are ringing and Simple's got his Glock out. He's going through the smoke. He's feeling himself and Magisk oh, oh, it oh. out. Simple. Oh. He's opened up the B site solo, charges down middle. He's got two orbs to work with. He can just rock him akimbo because the site will be Na'Vi's and the CTs, they are shaken. They'll have to bring the four M4s out at this point. They're challenging towards long again. This time with four players, Alex, and it's going to be the first kill for Simple once again. No one can stop this man. Resistance is futile as he continues to fight shot after shot. Finally, Device and Majors will step up. Can they get Simple down? Apparently not. And they have got the lead. This is the cross. Bullets already exchanged, but Flamey has made it. And he did bring the bomb with him. That is quite the achievement. Now his teammate can set himself up. If only he could plant for him. He has a chance to plant for long in the smoke to help him do so, but Device, oh! he's gone. Simple is not missing. He is unrelenting. And he wants more. Not the Glock. He's using the smoke to perfect advantage. He's got backs turned. Glaive considering it as an option, but now oh! here they are. And he's making them look silly. Humiliation on the semi-final stage. Flamey finishes. It's 9-1. Call it done, Alex. This guy is unbelievable. And now, Device 
It's going to have to be ooh, a little careful. They exchange blow for blow. Electronic full health going aggressive and the spray connects. He's unreal with that Krieg. No one missing any shots on the Na'Vi side of things with Zipex with a great position here. The flashbang does move him away, but it's still another great shot. Electronic continues his rampage here towards the A site. Another round where Dupree, Magisk this time, clutching onto their rifles and just shaking their heads. It's another stack. Chad broke this down on the board. It's them trying to find an answer. The flash is good, and so is the frag. Glaives get a, gets away. Scar free, completely safe. Zipex's flash made sure of that. Finally, they have an opening advantage here. Can they capitalize upon it, though? That's the question. Simple. Pistol out again, waiting for Magus to push towards the B-tunnels here. Surely he won't. There's no need to at this point. They need to maintain the advantage. Device waits, and Boomish will deal with him. Alone, no one to back him up. It was a nice idea to have the off angle, but ultimately has led them to a four and four. Glaive with the reaction over Boomish. He's one step ahead every single time. Dupree. We'll collect onto Boomish, but he was simply... Trying to draw the CTs that direction. Zipex, he's a little late to the party. He's going to have to play this headshot angle, and there's three players that want to breathe towards this site. Breach is the word I was looking for. So, Alex, no real utility on the CT side. Zipex has a smoke. Debris challenging with the M4 here, but it's a difficult shot to land. A little bit of damage inflicted towards Flamey, but he's more than happy to take the jaw with the scope of the creek here. Zipex. Working his way through with Magus there. Will they go for the boost? Well, got a dink in at least, but here we go, a chance. Oh. That's actually got the lead here, but it's simple. One versus one now, Dupree. He will make his way towards the bomb site. 90% clutch rate on this map. We saw him win one against Liquid versus four. He's only got to find one and he's done it again. The percentage goes up again, Henry. 12-1 for Na'Vi, and Simple just can't lose clutches. Final round of this first half. They limp in with FAMAS, MP9s. UMPs and Perfecto, he's had enough of this. He wants to close things out in style. Looking to find the opening frag. Simple just somehow gets two more. What in God's name is going on right His now? The site is open. Oh, and another one goes down. Astralis, they are just being pantsed live on stage. Glaive will catch Simple, but the damage has been dealt and the bomb's on its way to the other side of the map. Just Zipex with an MP9 and a nade. Shaking in his boots, but Glaive has done better. Catching middle. Making things as awkward as he can. Zipex, however, cut down to half by Flamey, and just a matter of time, he's managed to get away. And Flamey now, just so ready to get stuck in once again, and it works out for him. Ladies and gentlemen, you are witnessing some an unheard of experience for Astralis. A semi-final opening map, and they are leaving the first half with one round. Na'Vi, 14, Astralis, one. Simple elevates himself with the extra lip, hoping to find Device unawares. Boomich has managed to find the first for Na'Vi. He is going to be molotov out of position. That's a big investment of the nade, and he's still comfortable in the corner. No issue whatsoever, and Simple's found another one, Henry. Oh, another headshot towards the pit as well. Device is at 6 HP. Oh, no. This is looking like it's done. A five on three. They've got one smoke. Found another as well. They can cross over, but we'll even get close to that side of the map. Zipex is just getting chipped away out. They got the pre-fire towards the car. Dupree's in the open. Surely will be dealt with momentarily as they limp back as just a fraction of HP left over for them. But they have brought it back to a three versus two with plenty of time remaining. But Flamey now locks them in towards that long position. How do they even get out of this? The bomb's down, time ticking away, and one bullet on either of them will take them out. It's a bomb plan would be great at this point. There is another smoke on the floor, so chances are, if Dupree was to spot it out, they would have a perfect smoke for the cross. There it is, picked up and thrown. But with this kind of health, good flash. Dupree does make it across. Two stars remain for Astralis, Dupree and Device. Shots close. He's going to be exposed to long. Device has got to tuck himself in in time or he will be caught. I don't know if you saw him. Did Flamey not see? I don't think he did. We'll have a look. Oh, well, apparently that's not a problem whatsoever. <laughs> Map point already. Here we go, Astralis. Towards the long position. And you can see the jump over the smoke from Glaive got him a whole lot of information. He's pieced together where two components of this Na'Vi puzzle rest. Rain doesn't connect, but good damage from Flamey, perhaps to be finished off by his comrades. Three players from Astralis make it across to the bomb, but from behind, the alligator has found its prey. One from Simple with a shotgun. He will be neutralized. Magis, make sure of that. Three versus two. They maintain the numbers, but for how long? He's taken ambitious Jules Boomich. And down to Perfecto, his first S-tier semi-final. 
looking to clutch it out for the win. It's not impossible, but it doesn't look likely. Magic's position should be a guaranteed round win. There it is. Three creeds in total, and that is just a showstopper of a kill at the start of the round. Glaive just has no idea how that even connected. It's just another day in the office, isn't it? He's come in, stamped his time card, and hitting scout shots like that. Simple. Makes it 22. That's 22 frags in 17 rounds of play. Here in the 18th, he's ready for some more. And another tag. He hasn't missed 100% connecting so far. Remember, Perfecto with that Desert Eagle can do a ton of work here with the low HP players in front of him, but it's the healthy guys making their way up first. He does go down uncontested. Magic is crucial. And it looks like he's doing enough. Does manage to force the short player away. Dupree's Mac 10 connect. Simple, I swear. If you do anything ridiculous now, I am going to... Oh, there it That's is. That's just ridiculous! <laughs> no, absolutely not. He made me sound like a gorilla. And Zipex will get that bomb down eventually. Finally found by device, so Astralis <laughs> will find another one. You are ridiculous. Uh, but it's not absolutely everything they need just to get that one round. That's what I'd be focusing on now. That's how we good. close this out. Yeah. I mean, it can happen whenever. It could happen right now. Perfecto, full flash, takes down magic. Dupree did get to the blue bin, but it looks like Navi is sending their entire squad to clear it. Dupree only gets the first. And Perfecto comes back for his second. Charging through middle though, and the spray through the smoke from Simple will just clip Zipex into the site they go in the MP9. It's the worst weapon for that kind of fight. They will find Flamey. Good dink, good damage. Electronic is burning on his way through CT. And Na'Vi, yeah, this is the right call. Does he go for aggressive play? Of course he does, and for that double spray down. That is magnificent. Five versus three, the job should be done at this point. They try to change the pace up at the Australis side, and they are punished for it. Perfect counter. Oh, it's Krieg, though, throwing the flashbang. It's very telegraphed, but they know he's coming, and it doesn't matter. Boomich still inflicting good damage. I just cut down to size, and Simple's relieved the threat on short. They're coming from long, and he knows it. Smoke blocks his view, but it doesn't oh. block his bullets. It was Flamey that connected instead, all the way from CT. And Zipex is barely getting across. He's the walking wound, and he won't make it to the site. They won't make another round. It's going to be 16 to 4. Ooh, they want to get top site attention. It's going to be Flamey to be tested, though. And he's wisely chosen not to be overwhelmed. Instead, that one-man army will be joined by Simple, of course, with that CZ on that low site. But for now, Magis charging straight in, and he will go one for one. Simple biding his time on the site. He wants one with their back turned. It doesn't matter if he's got no health. He still manages to get up one, keeping things level as that bomb goes down. Well then, it's all looking quite good, but Perfecto arrives from secret. An equal trade. And a two on two now. No kid available right now, but here comes Perfecto joined by Boomich. He's holding towards the ramp, and there is one player right next to him on the close left. He always seems to be one step ahead of his opponents, but for now, surely going down. Glaive should secure the round at this point. That should all be locked down. Perfecto thrust into a one versus two at the start of the second map, and Glaive's just giving him nothing. Tall teasing him, and oh dear, feeling the pressure. He wants to go loud, and oh my god, he's got a chance. He's only got one health, but if he pushes it, he's got one bullet to the dome on his Zipex. He takes his shot. The bullet flew through the air, but it's Zipex to clutch it out. All members of Astralis are behind the guise of that smoke, and Boomich has one of his own. He'll deploy that as soon as he catches a glimpse. That's enough. Drops it off and gets away. Will they respect the smoke? That's the next question. It does seem to be the case. Yeah, well played from Boomich. That funnels him back towards outside. That allows him to rotate towards lower if they feel it's necessary. Flamey will join him. AG in hand. That won't do a ton of damage, but does suggest there's multiple players down there at this point. Time ticking away. That's what the smoke is designed to do. 50 seconds on the clock, Flamey down there with a scout as well, looking to get tags and work in tandem with the CZ next to him. You have to remember what Boomich actually saw was, at max, two players. He does not know that the entire Astra... Oh, a jiggle and a frag. Flamey body shot it. He gets another one. He stands <gasps> his ground in the flames, living quite up to his namesake. Device, though, with the first for Astralis. He's hoping to claw a second one. It's Dupree to push the decon, but no issues. This force buy is flying for Na'Vi. That's such a sick move from Boomer as well. Suggested he fell back by opening and closing the door. They took the bait, hook, line, and sinker. They just now to plant the bomb. Three versus one. He's got a Molotov, but no head remaining. That's going to be a great response from Na'Vi. Four Kriegs pulled out by the Astralis squad. This is the weapon that has changed the tide of New T side. But Flamey, ridiculous! Oh! Ace, five kills, five seconds. And it's the fourth on the board for Na'Vi. None. There isn't. This is the boost we saw FaZe do. 
Not quite going to follow through, and instead, Boomich has no issue. Dispatching of one, Dupree, a crucial trade, puts Flamey in a bit of hot water. Tucked in on Shadow, he will be checked. But with that smoke, actually, he's got somewhat of a luxury. He can go unchecked until Zipex finds him. Now the round should be Astralis. Yeah, looking very good. Time was running out there. Looked like Na'Vi might have done enough with the delay towards Secret, but a very efficient plan. Smoke out the double doors, and everything was covered. It's going to be up to Electronic now to try and pull the round back. Will they be going for this? They've got so much money and kits available here, but no utility. Great shot from Perfecto. They've actually got a chance in this one now. This could be it. It would be an absolute haymaker of a round if somehow Na'Vi wins it, but it looks like Electronic's a little bit too far away. Four players again. Same approach. I assume Zipex on the other side of the map. Look at this. And it's going to be electronic. A nice adjustment this time. The HE grenade is going to do a boatload of damage here. Simple with a flashbang assist as well. It's a five <laughs> versus two. They are not slowing down at all. Just adjusting the setup slightly there. Secret, they have allowed them to go through a few times. This time, Electronic deals with it in true style. Simple had a two flashbangs lined up, ready for his teammate, Electronic. Perfecto gets this for sure. But wait, the timing could be great. As soon as he fires a shot, he's expecting Zipex to trade. That's something. Bomb does get retrieved. Bounce behind the silo. Remember, just one flashbang remaining now. He's got to deal with Flamey first. He doesn't want to overcommit. Wants to make sure he's got his teammate with him. Looks very good. No way. Zipex can clutch that one out. That's very, very well done. So, partial buy in the previous round. We said they could have bought into it, but they wanted to have absolutely everything. They've got the device orb. And now, a Zipex opening frag through smoke. You need more where that came from. That's the in-game leader of Na'Vi taken out of the equation. Flamey is there with the Krieg. And now, if you're a ramp player, with this particular weapon, you get a fight. You're not just gonna play for one kill, you're gonna try and get as many as you can. Flash gets him, but can he deliver? Oh my god, he sure can! A double kill from Flamey, a gorgeous flash, I will acknowledge, from Astralis, straight off the box, into his face, but he moves while doing the dance and simple dancing around the site. No! And Astralis, no way. they're showing up! No. They're just getting ripped out of the server. Dupree, last man standing, he's wondering where his team has gone. Simple does not miss. Look at the discipline as well, just running the clock down, giving Dupree nothing here, but finally he will strike. But what's the call going to be? Perfecto's got him. There's no way you check this. Goodbye, Dupree. Classic Glaive maneuver. Force a rotation down towards lower. Commit to upper. Good trades to come through, but Electronic hasn't missed many shots. Can Glaive open things up? He cannot. The one-on-one -on -one duels have just landed in favor of Na'Vi every single time. Thank you, Check Electronic, Perfecto, oh, backs a turn, and he tucks in, Perfecto a chance to swing out, it's Flamey instead to find a frag, multi-kill from Zipex. Backs turn, to check it, boom, if they do, but Magic, he's been shut down immediately, and so all onto Zipex, looking to clutch, to pull Astralis back into the contention here on Nuke, Ooh. Simple's not interested. Outside, not just Glaive this time, how? how has he found another one, Simple's got his... Gunner Optics on. Yeah, this is absolutely wild. He keeps finding kills through smoke time and time again. <laughs> Up to Glaive now, uh, and another 1v1 duel that falls apart. Simple's down towards lower. Did he teleport down there or something? I have no idea. Simple, ready and waiting for more and more kills here. Desert Eagle in hand, and you know he's going to have some fun here. Yeah! Zipex, he'll take control and bring them back a kill. Simple. Closing that gap a little nonchalantly, Flamey. Yeah, there, he's having a bit of fun there, yeah. I'll tell you that much. I like this from Magisk, he should have a chance onto Boomich, but immediately he tucks in. They are so coordinated. This is a Na'Vi that, that could have world domination ahead of them, but Vecto's finding form on the big stage. He's looking like himself and so simple. The bomb goes down in the open. Electronic chiming in from Secret. It looks like we're all done in this first half. 13-2, written all over the walls of Nuke. Electronic with the Clippers in secret. He's hitting another one. Simple, you robot. Will be the double kill, but Zipex last to fall. Electronic collects a 13-2 half. There's nothing you can do to counter the brutal skill that is being displayed by Na'Vi as they go for a ramp rush here. Zipex needs at least a kill here. Does spot them coming through, decides to fall back. Safer option, no utility on either side here, Alex. Quite interesting, that means there's no kit available for Astralis, no smokes to get the bomb down lower. Range advantage here for Astralis for sure. They need this pistol round, desperately. There's so many players swarming towards the position though. Glock's coming in, door sharp, and Glaive, he still wants to be part of this action. Perfecto does position himself to maneuver I'm the down. crosshair and it's Zipex to stop the plant and then some collects himself a double. Still hungry and Boomich managing to hit the burst no less. Just simple thrust into a one versus three. And this time, no cigar, Astralis. They'll take one coconut for the coconut shite.
Device is desperate to get that Molotov on the call of Glaive. Doesn't have to pay too much of a price for it. And now he has his signature weapon in his grasp. Needs one. Finds it. Another opportunity, but he's perfectly flash. Na'Vi supporting once again. These flashbangs are getting better and better. Magisk, however, we talked about how crucial this was, and now Astralis have found the opening too. They didn't anticipate a device AWP, that's for sure. That's why it was such a great call from Astralis here. As I mentioned, they need rounds, not cash. So far, so good. Five on three. Perfecto. No, he can't really duel the orb with his Galil here, but does significant damage. The device will get his second. Flamey towards lower. Bob on his back. A plant will be great here. We wish to cover. A five on two. They somehow pull this off. Uh, there'll be no getting back into yeah, You can solo cast the red if they pull this one off. <laughs> There's the first kill, Flamey, 47 HP, we've got Nader at the start with Squeaky, nice shot to open things up, could get a second here, but may just all keep things very clean indeed. Here we go, straight up rush, Glaive gonna be trying to spray them down, but they have broken through the initial defense here. Glaive will just get the one, but he's done significant damage towards the second as well. Two players on the bombsite floor, do Navi want to fall back or try and drop down towards the vents here? Good HE lands, but they have got three players down towards the lower bombsite. May just will pull one back, or device. He checks it. Yeah, he definitely does. Right? Oh, right? Oh, okay. Umish likes an M4. He'll take an M4, though. Oh. Phone a friend. Oh, damage done towards Magisk. Every second that passes, Navi are finding some access points here. Good smoke towards Decon. Zipix can now focus on the double doors. He's got a great angle here. I don't see a world where they can take him out. They've got no utility. He will peek. Electronics ready and waiting. 30 seconds now. This is falling apart. He yeah, even get the bomb down uncontested. Dupree, he's going to have to risk it into the vents. And just like that, it looks like Na'Vi could be poised for their 14th. Dupree, he's making a whole lot of noise. A Danish elephant descends to Decon. No way, and Alex. He's gone down. No this is it. Na'Vi, Boomich with a big frag. Sneaks his way through. Glaive on the other side. First shot comes in. It's a beautiful one from Electronic. Doesn't even blink. This isn't a sidekick. This is a superhero. Yep. Another one. The electronics got the sight. He could be pulling the 15th entirely on his own for his team. This is going to change the game plan. The bomb likely going to have to go towards Ramp Room. Boom, it's just flying through the sky. Device with his knife out. Humiliation. Oh, dear. A chance now for the remaining. Two versus three. Magic, or rather Magisk, is going to be crawling behind them on Ramp. Remember, they'll have no cash going forward here. It's now a three versus one. Simple waits patiently towards main entrance. No one looking towards his direction right now, apart from the big man himself. Simple swings round, finds series point, 15 to five. Money in the actual bin for Astralis at this point. $2,000 per player, they have to buy. They are completely and totally convinced that the grand final spot is theirs. It's just peanuts, mag seven, a few smokes. They're gonna have to do something aggressive and simple knows it. He's already collected one and just four more steps to the grand finals for Na'Vi. Glaive tickled by the nade. Oh, it's a perfect Molotov. Glaive now fully committed towards outside and they seem to know it as well. Piece by piece, Na'Vi are finding this 16th round, no problem at all. Through the flames, Dupree will retreat, 25 HP, call it done, and there it is, 16 of five, a very convincing 2-0 there.